Stellantis salary decrease in 2022. Stellantis, the manufacturer of Fiat, Ram, and Peugeot automobiles, announced in a report on Friday that CEO Carlos Tabara's 2022 compensation will decrease by 14% to 14.9 million euros, or $15.71 million. It was revealed in the filing that Tabaris did not earn a retention bonus in 2022, while receiving one in the neighborhood of 2 million euros in 2021. On Wednesday, Stellantis announced a higher than expected profit, thanks to rising auto prices and greater than anticipated merger advantages, but it also warned of pricing pressure as industry-wide supply chain difficulties improve. With industrial free cash flows of 10.8 billion euros last year, much above the maximum aim of 8.1 billion euros, Tavares received almost 90% of his compensation from variable components. Stellantis also surpassed its 5 billion euro cash synergy goal by 2024, achieving 7.1 billion euros in savings during the period. The business also declared a dividend payment of 4.2 billion euros, or 1.34 euros per share, based on its 2022 performance, and a proposed share buyback program of up to 1.5 billion euros for 2023. Several unions reacted negatively to Tavares' salary of roughly 17.4 million euros last year, and they pushed legislators to take action to curb executive remuneration. So, what do you make of this? Discuss further below in the comments section.